Good afternoon, everybody. It's April Davis PI. It's Monday, June 20th, 2022. You know, I've been thinking about this video for about a week now. If I sound out of breath, it's because I'm hiking up in the Hollywood Hills. I'm in the Beechwood Canyon Hills neighborhood. I don't want to point out a specific address or street, but this is a story that needs to be told. Last week, sadly, a utility crew was working on this street and sadly, a deceased person was discovered in a manhole underneath a manhole cover that's just a few feet away from me. For some reason, the story has failed to make the news, although a similar story that happened in Colorado apparently the week before is all over the national news. This story has not even made the local news other than the local next door app. Many neighbors thought it was a prank or a joke, but let me tell you as a PI for over 35 years, when you have the LAPD Homicide Bureau out here plain clothes, standing in the streets with their guns on their belt and a coroner's vehicle. Sadly, it's not a joke. This is a very beautiful neighborhood. It's up underneath the Hollywood sign. I don't really know what to say, but I want to be respectful to the victim. I want to be respectful to the family. I don't think they know or they didn't know at the time if it was a man or a woman but the person had been here for quite some time because the utility trucks apparently hadn't been up here in about two years to inspect these manholes. So now that I've caught my breath a little bit, these hills are very, very steep. It's very rustic up here. It's very dark, probably at night. But the houses sit very close to the streets here in the Hollywood Hills, as you can see. The houses are right up against the road. So it's really shocking that nobody heard or saw anything. But that's why I think it's important to make this video because I think the locals need to hear the story. There's the cover. That's where it happened. I mean, there's like 10 or 12 million people in LA County. There's at least three or four million people in the city of LA. But our local neighborhoods are really connected and they're really tight. And I would hope that the residents of Beechwood Canyon would all pull together here and uh, maybe somebody would come forward that would help the police. You know, my years as a PI, I'm going to turn around and walk back down the hill here. My many years as a PI, I've had a very good relationship with the LA County Coroner's Office, worked many homicide cases in my career as a PI, but I would have to believe that they're not releasing any information at this time. This is an open homicide. I'm gonna find a phone number for the LAPD Homicide Bureau, and I'll put it in the description of the video. Well, This is just, this is so much. This is a lot. The first manhole cover that I shot earlier in the video, that's not it, it's actually this one. I had to get my bearing straight. It's actually this one. I'm gonna show this house a little bit, but I'm not gonna show the number. It's the second one. If you turn the camera, I've turned the camera this way. You see the, the house, the white stucco house with the green trim and the, and the tile roof. That's the house that you can see in the photos that appeared on the next door app. And the tenant of this particular house, I won't name him. He did take a picture. He posted it online. So it's actually this one. Very peaceful up here. 
Hi. It's a very nice neighborhood. Like I said, I very much hesitated. I've been thinking about this for almost a week. I think this happened last Monday or Tuesday. It was on our local Nextdoor app. Some of the neighbors thought it was a joke or a prank or a Hollywood prop. Sadly, no. I just don't know who would do something like this. I don't know if the victim is a man or a woman, if it's an adult or a child. But sadly, in one of the photos that ended up online that was public in our Nextdoor app, at least public to the locals who are part of that app, there was a photograph of a woman detective and she was wearing long pants and there's a shot that's in between her legs actually where part of what they discovered sadly was photographed by a local and it was posted online so I will never put that picture up it was even after all the bad things I've seen in my career to see what I saw in that picture was absolutely horrifying and it was not even the entire corpse it was just the skull but it was obvious that it had definitely been there for quite some time I'm trying to be careful here because I don't want to film any addresses or street names but we are in Beechwood Canyon in the Beechwood Canyon Hills You know, this neighborhood is also connected to famed Hollywood actress Peg Entwistle. It's very close to a lot of the events that happened in this neighborhood in the early 1930s. I'll have to do a video about that someday. Uh, there's some gorgeous homes here. Everybody take in the view. It's a beautiful day. It's very, very hot. Usually this time of the year we have what's called June gloom. Well, we didn't get June gloom this year. It's already very hot. It's breezy, which is not good. That's fire weather for Los Angeles. So if it's a little breezy here, I can't imagine how bad it is in the windy areas out in the desert. But, wow, I don't know what more to show you. It's just, it's very sad. I don't know how the police, besides the crime scene evidence from the actual body. I don't know how they're going to gather clues if they need help from the public because other than the people that live on this street and the people that are part of our local next door app, there's just not that many people that know about what's going on. And, uh, you know, I don't want this video to be clickbaity. My channel is not monetized. I'm not trying to get monetized. But I've been thinking about this for, like I said, about a week. And I think if one person, just one person, sees this video that knows something or could call in a tip to the police, you know, please come forward. I'm sure a lot of these homes have security cameras, considering they're million-dollar homes, multi-million-dollar homes in the Hollywood Hills. I'm sure there are security cameras. I'm sure many people have the ring doorbell. Although this apparently is not a recent event, and I know that the ring doorbell, depending on what type of subscription you have, the rings and the nest doorbells do not keep the videos permanent on their website. So it's not like this is recent where people can just pull their local, you know, video from this neighborhood. Um, they don't have an exact timeline. The only timeline they have is that the utility trucks that discovered this, apparently they had not been in the neighborhood for about two years. I've also read a rumor online that the coroner is estimating at least a year. So it couldn't be more than two years, but they think it's less or at least one year. Now, I know that none of the coroner's reports or police reports would be public at this time as this is probably still an open case. Hold on, we have a, uh, a, a large truck going by. It's just, uh, 
like I said, I don't know what to say. It's going to be hard for me to even post this video. But please, locals to Los Angeles, locals to the Hollywood Hills, specifically Beachwood Canyon Hills area, if anybody knows anything, if anybody has a missing loved one, you know, do what you can. I'll, I'll link the number once again down below in the description of the video of the Los Angeles Police Department's Homicide Bureau. Anybody knows anything? I mean, all I know is that last week, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, that the body was found by a utility crew in the street underneath the manhole cover stuffed in the, in the manhole wrapped in a blanket. And, uh, Maybe if I hadn't seen the picture that I saw on the next door app, maybe it wouldn't have affected me so badly, but I just, I can't get that image out of my head, folks. And I've seen a lot in my career. I have seen a lot, but you know, this is not one of my cases, but you know, I live three miles from here and I just hope that whoever that is that they're in a better place and that justice is served and that's all.